Hello there. Let's do a quick home video on unboxing and taking apart this innocent Black & Decker classic electronic toaster. First of all we open the box. Inside the toaster, nicely packed. And notice by the way the packing is protecting the toaster, telling you the main things about it. And let's pull the thing out. Out we come. All right, there you are, there's our toaster. Put the box to one side. How do we get in? Right, we want to see what's inside, how it's constructed, and all the design features. Now, normally just pull off the knob, just pull off, pull off the toaster handles on both sides. That one's fixed. <laughs> all right. And then we undo some screws. Now we don't just undo everything in sight, but we just go in, locate the screwdriver, the right kind, and then do a sharp click, turn, oh, and then undo. That's one. And what we do, we just put the screw, and we get it out one side roughly where we took it out try and remember good to take notes as we go along another screw over this side undo now this toaster has been taken apart before by many students so hopefully most of it's inside so you've got two end pieces there out they come now you have to watch yourself for the sharp edges here they are a very sharp tin plate now there's another couple of screws down here for the mains lead so let's just I'll do those as well. And this one. Okay. And this is where the main seat comes in. Notice how it's screwed in place and quite tightly. Make sure there's very good connection. And this cover here acts as a strain relief for the cable so that when the cable's bent around, it does not bend these wires and they don't snap off. Also another thing, please note that the earth screw goes to the earth cable, it goes straight to the metal of the case. The idea is that should something horrible happen and some live wire touches the case, it prefers to go straight down to earth, which is Singapore in our case, straight into the ground through this easy wire rather than going through us and hopefully we survive. Another quick thing, this thing underneath here, it's, uh, it's meant for uh, Singapore voltage, UK voltage, Malaysian voltage. It's taking up to 800 watts. Um, the, the wattage depends on which voltage you put in. If it's 220 volts, it'll only take 672 watts. If it's 240 volts, it takes 800 watts. There you are. And it says disconnect toaster before opening, which we did. Well done. Okay, now. There's a crumb tray here, so you pull and open, that exposes the inside. You can see the heating elements inside, it's sort of nichrome wire tape actually, not wire, that's going around some mica sheets, and you'll see them in more detail in a minute. All right, now we just take carefully take apart these parts here, one end comes off, Remember to protect yourself from the edges. Now, these toaster parts here, is like crinkly toaster parts here, they have to go down to the bottom and come out, otherwise you can't pull them through. And we've also got connection to the heater. We've got to pull them off gently. So we've now disconnected the electronics. Pull down, out it comes, just nice. So what happens now is that you've got the casing inside. You can see the elements on the cards. I don't want to take that apart. That's fine. We can see how it works. And at the bottom there, we can see the size here. We can actually show you a little bit more of the elements. If I just pull off the side here, you see that it looks like cardboard, but it isn't. <clears throat> it's a kind of crystalline substance called mica and that can really withstand high temperatures. 
and notice that they, everything is just kept away from the metal case so there's actually live power on these wires or tapes here but it's no way it's going to touch the case under normal circumstances and also in the construction there are wires over here which keep the toast away from the element but you can see that it's not that difficult if you put a knife inside to touch the element so you don't do that okay never ever take toast out with metal cutlery because that's a sure way to die okay let's put this to one side let's have a look inside here right this part down here is supporting the toast and this whole mechanism slides up and down it's got a little catch it kind of goes down as a little catch and it would normally be held in place by a magnet and when we release the catch up it goes again and it pings the toast out so it goes down so you set that mechanically so you use your energy to to load the spring here and then what happens is that later on when the electronics decides that the toast is ready to be come up if you look inside carefully here there's that yellow thing here it's a solenoid what, what, what that is is when you put current through there it becomes magnetic and it will pull down the metal plate and release because the magnetic field will attract the metal tongue that's over here and release the mechanism so all this magnet has to do is just pull a little tag across it does not have to push this big mechanism the spring does that and you already put energy in that spring okay let's have a look at the electronics now electronics is facing the other way I'm going to have to take the board off for you but uh, you see first of all that there isn't a big transformer and power supply that you would normally expect for electronics this is a very clever circuit it runs from the mains and the mains is reduced first of all by going through the heater element the heater element is a big resistor and that will use up most of the voltage of the mains and that means just a little bit is left for the electronics quite clever so in fact the power supply goes into the contacts which then go to the heating element and then the heating element will use up most of the voltage of the mains and just a little bit that's left just goes down to the bottom here so that means then the low voltage that is needed for the electronics is just taken from these wires now another quick point this whole thing gets super hot so notice that all the connections here are actually welded together not soldered but they've actually welded these things I don't know if you can see there and uh, it's just crimped and welded and that means that it can get pretty hot and it's still okay so let's quickly take off the electronics board so it's just these screws here click 